everybody, it's Nancy from Nancy Chu Homes, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what it's like living in Montclair, New Jersey. You've all seen Montclair before. It's proximity to NYC and quintessential suburban character, along with an abundance of large, classic colonials. With a bunch of those Tudors and Victorians make it look like your perfect suburb, so much that it's made Montclair an ideal place to shoot film, TV, and commercials. For instance, they're shooting the sequel to Happy Gilmore in Montclair right now. Montclair has long been a favorite location for cast and crew to tell their stories. So we know that it looks great, but how is it to live here? First, a few basic facts. Montclair is about four and a half miles long and about one and a half miles wide. It's bordered by Glen Ridge and Bloomfield to the east, Verona and Cedar Grove to the west, West Orange, Orange and East Orange to the south, and Clifton and Little Falls to the north. Montclair is two parts, Montclair and Upper Montclair, split by Watching Avenue, but it's a distinction without a big difference except a zip code. Basically, the Dutch settled Upper Montclair and the English settled south of Watchung, but that was hundreds of years ago. A great thing about Montclair is its access to transportation to New York City by train and bus. It's got seven train stations, starting from Montclair State in the north to Montclair Heights Station, to Mountain Avenue, to Upper Montclair Station, then Wachung Avenue, Walnut Street, and the Big Bay Street Station before moving on to Glen Ridge and Bloomfield. Then next, it's Newark Broad Street where you can switch to the Hoboken train to get the path to locations downtown or stay on the Midtown direct to Penn Station. In Montclair, it's hard to live more than two miles from a train station. There's also the bus. The pandemic forced our old bus company out of service, but there's an exciting new service now called Boxcar. Check it out at boxcar.com. Pickups are at Park Street and Bloomfield Avenue, the Watchung Avenue train station, Upper Montclair Station at Bellevue Avenue, and at the intersection of Valley Road and Mount Hebron Road, then on to New York with drop-offs at 42nd Street and 8th Avenue, continuing down 42nd to Madison Avenue, then up Madison to 71st Street. Great for getting crosstown and uptown. Here's two more commute options. New Jersey Transit operates park and rides. The closest one to the north is on Allwood Road between Broad Street and Clifton Avenue in Clifton, and the close one to the south is at South Mountain Arena on Northfield Avenue in West Orange. And here's one more, it's a little more time in the car, but we like the drive to the Harrison Path Station. Parking is cheap and the path takes you right into the World Trade Center or switch at Journal Square in Jersey City for the 33rd Street Line. There are many other options and combinations, but those are the easy ones. You'll get to learn your favorites. So Montclair has six business and shopping districts, the big one being Bloomfield Avenue. It's got everything from boutique retail to supermarket and loads of great restaurants, a movie theater and a live performance venue, the Wellmont. You can catch some really great acts there. We like Ani Ramen, Raymond's for brunch, and Faubourg for fancy French food and a pretty cool bar scene. The areas by the train stations tend to have business districts too, like Walnut Street Station has the corner for our other favorite brunch, and Egan's for casual food and drinks, Montclair Brewery for its awesome beer selection, plus the Saturday Farmer's Market at the Walnut Train Station. Or try Watching Plaza over here at Watching Avenue and Park Street for our favorite old school pizzeria, Mr. Dino's, and a New Jersey style Sloppy Joe at the Milburn Deli, which is not the loose meat sandwich you think it is. Upper Montclair is a bit different with the business district running from the Acme supermarket on Valley Road at Wildwood to the Kings at the other end. In between is everything from Starbucks to Dunkin' to the great lunch at Jackie's Grillette or Taco Tuesday at Tortoise Locas or the fancy dinner at Turtle and Wolf. Me, I'm always on the go. So I'm picking up a cold drink at the quick check on Valley at Van Vleck and a hot everything bagel with the bacon horseradish cream cheese at Hot Bagels Abroad. And then relaxing with a cold one at the end of the day at local favorite Tierney's Tavern. Have we talked about the parks? Montclair does a great job of keeping it green with parks and recreation. From its three, that's right, I said three public pools, many tennis courts, ball fields, nature trails at Mills Reservation and Eagle Rock Reservation, 
skating rinks by the high school and at the university. And that's before we talk about Brookdale Park, a county park designed by the same guy who designed New York's Central Park with soccer fields, tennis courts, a dog park, and tons of walking and running trails. And if you're here in May, check out the Presby Iris Gardens. It's beautiful. In Montclair, we have the area's largest 4th of July parade. On most Independence Days, you can see me marching with our office, Keller Williams, New Jersey Metro Group. But you won't see my husband. He's in our mascot costume. There's also the Montclair African American Heritage Parade and Festival, Montclair Pride, the Art Walk, where over 50 downtown businesses take part, the Lunar New Year celebration, the Montclair Jazz Festival, the Montclair Film Festival, the Upper Montclair Sidewalk Sale, the Walnut Street Fair, and one of my favorites, the Strut Your Mutt Halloween Pet Costume Contest and Parade. So cute. Don't miss the Montclair Art Museum, home to more than 12,000 objects and the works of Montclair resident and artist George Innes from the 1880s, plus many Native American artifacts and contemporary works by Native American artists. Montclair is designed to keep you out of your car as much as possible, whether it's strolling to your local for a bite or riding your e-bike to your commute. It's all walkable or bikeable for most of the year, so get outside and enjoy the fresh air. So that's Montclair. We love it and we think you'll love it too. Give me a call if you wanna make Montclair your home.